Don't talk where you need them. Oh, yeah. Is it not you that I do this for? No, no, no. Said be the body. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back for another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this super easy maxi dress. I saw this fabric and I knew right away I had to make this maxi dress super fast, and I know you guys are going to love it. So if you want to see how I made this dress, definitely keep watching. I'm going to be using this polka dot fabric i saw this fabric and i was like yeah i gotta get it and it was two euros a meter so i got and this this is actually the last piece so i got the last piece which is two and a half yard remaining need ten top like this you can use to trace something like this you're going to need machine threads your sewing machine and yeah basically that's all the things you're going to need for this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how I create the pattern of the of the dress for you since this dress is going to be very big and my table is not big enough I'm just going to show it on like a miniature paper and you can apply that to your own pattern if that makes sense so first of all you just want to start with by tracing the tank top we've done that several times so I'm just going to start from there on trace your your tank top this is the shape you should have and you're just going to cut it out like so so after you've cut it this is the shape you should have this is your dress shape and um the back and the front is going to be the same you can make the back a v-neck if you want it to be more deeper open on the back i don't know for sure yet maybe but I don't know for now I'm just going to say the back and front is the same the neckline for the back and front is the same after the next step is I've gone went ahead and put out two lines and these are the lines we're going to slit so we can be able to spread the dress as wide as we want it to be so I'm just okay loves so as you can see right now we can spread this as wide as we want so as you can see I didn't cut the I didn't cut the, the thing all the way it's still attached together at the top I only cut it at the bottom so now we can easily spread it what you want to do you're going to take another paper like so and you're going to place this on top of it like this right like this and then you just want to spread it so you have to spread it according to how wide you want your your dress to be so as you can see i've spread the i've spread it and i've also taped it on the new paper and right now you just want to go ahead and cut it out and this is going to be the width of your dress Is what you should have after you've spread your piece and then you can go ahead and cut this on your fabric so that's how you that's how I created a pattern for this dress I hope it makes sense so for to finish the neckline because we're not going to be adding a lining we're just going to be adding a facing so what you want to do is you just basically want to trace out the shape of the neckline I also going to repeat the same step for the shape of the armhole so I'm basically just tracing this and then you see so after you've done that let me zoom in so you can see so you can see now you can sew this obviously going to sew it like <clears throat> So this and this is going to be the facing for the neckline and this is how the neckline will be finished properly and you can also repeat the same step for the armhole so I'm just going to show you the position you need to put your to pin your pockets so from your armhole down you're going to mark 10 inches and that's the position you're going to place your pocket and pin the pin your pocket in place and you're going to go ahead and sew it and it, i'm going to go do that off camera because we already have a tutorial tutorial on pockets like i said link it below so go check it out 
So this is the pocket. There it is. And this is it, the other one as well. So the next step is we're going to create the strap for the dress. I'm going to create the strings, the strap for, for the dress. So basically I've created like a bi step here. I just fold the two ends as you can see. Let me zoom in. in. So basically yeah so basically the two ends are like meeting I already ironed that and then I'm just going to fold it in half like so and I'm just going to give it a good iron you should have something like this and then you just want to go ahead and sew it really really at the edge all the way there and you can repeat the same step for the other strap Yeah, so this is the the strings after you've prepared it. These are my boat. So now we're going to attach it at the same time as we're attaching the facing of the the facing of the dress. <coughs> so you're gonna place the facing right sides together right sides together and I'm going to place this as well there like here you see that? you can pin that in place So what I've done is I've pinned the entire facing in place. So you can see the facing of the armpit is also pinned in place. The facing of the neck is pinned in place. And then at the back, it's also pinned in place. But I left an opening here. So I'm not going to sew this close. You can see there's an opening here. And this is the hole we're going to put the back. We're going to put the strings for the back. So make sure you leave an opening there. Because if you sew it closed, then you cannot turn the facing inside. So, I already went ahead and ironed it. So now the facing, this is what you should have. Clean neckline with one with the front strings already attached. So now we're going to finish it by attaching that to the back as well take this piece and you're going to put it through the hole here I went ahead and pin it and now I'm just going to sew it here so a dress is practically almost done so right now this is what you should have after you've attached the straps the neckline is nice and finished this is it at the back all you need to do so the facing doesn't flip you want to top stitch it so you're going to go ahead and top stitch the entire neckline also going to go ahead and hem the bottom part of the dress I'm going to be doing a road hem for it so I'm going to fold it twice and then sew it all the way around I'm going to go do that and I'll come back to show you guys the finished look Not you that I do this for yeah, yeah. No, no, no Said it be the body So that was a tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it um i know i'm gonna be getting a lot of questions regarding the s scarf that i'm wearing this is my s scarf collection that i will be uh, launching uh the end of this month don't really know yet but i'm going to be doing a, t a totally new video towards that regarding to that topic and i'm going to tell you guys how to get them what website to go so keep an eye open for that video Thank you guys so so much for watching make sure to like share comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet thank you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye did he just say that loud are we i'm gonna, sorry are we we're not even no 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 he just he, he oh, read it shit. Oh, they oh. are loud
Oh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. You didn't. Good afternoon. 